Hello, my name is Dawson Smith. I'm with Genie 402 here at Regent University in Virginia Beach. I'd like to take a few moments and talk about my leadership interview I had with Pastor Jody Williams of Beach Fellowship Church, our worship pastor. Pastor Jody's been involved in worship ministry the past 24 years. Started out as a worship leader in 2003, then moved to an elder in 2006, and then has been staff full-time pastor since 2013 at um, Beach Fellowship. One of the things that really struck me was um, I had presented a question to um, Jody about what does leadership mean to you? And the response that he gave kind of opened my eyes to another perspective of leadership. So Jody's definition of leadership says, and I quote, beginning to have the will and desire to help others but also to grow and reach their potential. Now, if we look at the Kuznis and, Kuznis and Posner's text of leadership, it's similar to this, but it's more, it's more broad and it's more in-depth than just those two lines. I think looking at Kuznis, Kuznis and Posner's definition of leadership is it comes down to two two different characteristics it comes down to ethics and it comes down to self-character people choose to be leaders not because some someone else told them to be a leader people choose to be leaders because they want to be a leader and that's how i view leadership in the world today it's rare to find good ethical leaders that really want to help others make a difference make a difference that's another pillar of leadership is you're making a difference for other people by leading the charge and you know we look all through history we look at all these different leaders, not only in the historical realm, but we also look at leaders in scripture. And we see what good did they do for other people? What can we take away from their lives and apply it to our own lives? And when I first did the Christian um, character index assignment back in week one, the results were some of what I expected and some of not. But as I've sat here and I've reflected uh, over the course, I've been able to really ponder and ask myself some questions about as I look in the in the future and I look after this course, what kind of leader can I myself be? And I'm planning on going to seminary school in August. And being able to talk to another pastor was satisfying to me. Because I was able to take away some, some key lessons and key principles that I knew I had for my life coming up in the future. And I think leadership comes down to three different things kind of characteristics like the marine corps core values honor courage and commitment but the the one that i took away the most from being a leader is commitment you yourself have to commit yourself to being a leader and always wanting to grow and to learn and explore new avenues in life it's not going to come to you you have to go to it. 
And so what I've encouraged myself to do from taking away all of this is have the desire and the will to always want to learn and to grow as a human being and a believer of Jesus Christ and always continue to want to be a good steward, to continue to serve God's purpose to bring others closer to him. It's been my honor and privilege to be a part of this course. I extend my thanks to Professor Matfield. Thank you for your leadership and for your service to this country. And thank you for allowing me to be a part of your course. It's been my honor. Thank you.